solar panels on a unit strut or super strut. This is the panels. These are the panels, sorry. These are the panels and people have been asking a lot of questions. Then see how I will anchor them. And guys, I will just go briefly and see everything. Unit struts and these panels are not going anywhere. Someone was complaining before. They are not going anywhere. And these are the modules here I'm using. Just testing for test sake is a 80 watt modules you see them you see the current and uh the maximum current is a 4.4 you see that 4.4 and 18 volt maximum power voltage the vmp is 18 on on load and this is a 21 you can see that 21.24 so these are polycrystalline solar panels made by uh, Synergy. Um, guys, you see, um, this is how I mounted the panels. And it has been some questions, there have been some concerns. These panels are not going anywhere. Look how sturdy they are. Someone was saying the last time the thing was shaking or rambling or whatever. I don't know. But this is the way you can do it. So some people are asking about the center tap here. I don't put any center tap because I just enclose them and use the washers here and stop them from sliding back or something. They already tighten up and look at our look how stable this thing is. I'm shaking it vigorously. You can't hear anything. Okay? It's all sturdy. So let me go and show you uh what we have here for the in uh, charge controller. I have a 40 amp um is a EP by Tracer um, 40 amp MPPT solar charge controller that I want to just try this is not like the one I'm gonna put there but this is the um, METER the MT5 remote display so this is the communication cable testing and uh, we can plug this guy here attached and we can plug the other side on the remote here it's just like a like a cat 5 or cat 6 ethernet cable rg45 like so that's what it is so we set this thing up here and we're gonna do attach to the batteries right there so i don't have enough bus bars this battery bank is gonna be bigger is a um, 35 kilowatt of power 12 volt but I didn't utilize, I just utilized four, not the three, because I ran out of bus bars. And I have two in uh, parallel, two in parallel that I series it. So two reds here, two blacks here, a uh, crossbar that series it to give me the uh, 12 volt system right here. So these are the bolts I'm going to be putting there. So I'm going to attach the cable right here into that to power this thing and let it start it stay tuned from there we're going to connect the solar panel all right guys this temporary setup um I, I know the tracer doesn't have anything for lithium so it's uh i can program that for lithium so i just put it on the um, seal like sealed acid battery something like that just a test and see it is a 40 amp MPPT and uh, it's pulsing right there and the batteries these are the P this is the PV side that is not even in yet and this is the battery that's sitting at 15 point 15.2 zero zero amps so let's go connect the solar panels um, this is the setup and let's see how everything goes from here stay tuned well, currently it's saying uh, we've seen 100%, and this controller doesn't have much functionality on it. Functions for you to do set some parameters of voltage and whatever you want to do. So, I would not recommend doing this if you have lithium batteries. Um, I would say um, find a programmable 
inverter uh charge controller you can see the solar is coming in but it's cloudy outside with just those little modules and um they're doing their thing so guys this is what it is it's a hundred volt open circuit so um you have to be below that threshold so currently we are seeing that uh, those two panels can offer uh very close to i think 40 something it was 40 something earlier so this is just a test for you guys to see all right stay tuned for more to come live from the uh the command center of the jw solar usa live in minnesota thanks for watching love you guys all bye for now